I'm Matt with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today we're going to be comparing the different MultiPlus models that Victron has available and trying to decide which is best for your camper van or RV. First things first, if you're powering a camper van or a 30 amp RV, you're going to be looking towards the MultiPlus inverter or the MultiPlus 2, which is exactly the same functions in a different size box. If you're backing up a 50 amp RV and you want to keep it simple with one inverter, meaning you're okay with a 3000 watt output powering one air conditioner at a time, then the MultiPlus 2 2x120 is your best bet because it can pass through an entire 50 amp 240 volt shore power service when you're at the campground and then also power the entire main panel allowing you to pick and choose which appliances you want to use that 3000 watts towards when you're off grid. Now let's dive into the details because there's a lot more to these things. If you're working on a camper van or a 30 amp RV and you're trying to decide between the MultiPlus and the MultiPlus 2, which is not pictured here but is the same size and shape as the 2x120, if you're trying to make that decision, then really the only difference is, is size, shape, and connection type. Now let me show you what I mean for connection type. The MultiPlus uses screw terminals, so anyone with the standard screwdriver can secure the AC wiring to it. Whereas the MultiPlus 2 and the 2x120, they're going to use a push-in type connector. That's going to require a ferrule and a ferrule crimper. So this is not a tool that everyone's going to have, um, but it is something that's easy to get a hold of. So you'll slip the ferrule over top of the stripped wire end, crimp the connection so it's nice and tight. And you're just gonna push this into the connector. A set of needle nose can be helpful with this. If it's not feeling secure, you're gonna wanna get it deeper by using a screwdriver to kind of hold open the lever. Now, now that's in there nice and snug. Now, if I wanna remove it, I'm gonna repeat that same process. Open the lever in the connector and slip the wire out. There's a bunch of different ferrules out there, different lengths, different types of plastic on the ends. You're gonna want the 18 millimeter uninsulated ferrule. This is gonna allow your wire to um, slip past the edge of the connector here. As opposed to an 18 millimeter insulated ferrule, meaning the end here is insulated, it's gonna block you once you get to a certain point. You can't push the connector in any further because the plastic makes contact with the connector here. So this is not a good choice. So we're happy to help you get the right ferrules as well as the right crimping tools to get the MultiPlus 2 installed. But if you wanna make it simple on yourself, and just use the tools that you have, stick with the MultiPlus. Within the MultiPlus, you can see all the different auxiliary connections, temperature sensor connections, voltage sensing connections, VE bus connections, relays, on off switches, all of the same are found in the MultiPlus 2. So really there's no missing parts or pieces between the two. Now, if you're working on a 50 amp RV, you've got to start to choose whether 3000 watts is enough for you or not. If you're okay with just powering one air conditioner at a time, as well as a few other small appliances, then this is absolutely your inverter, the MultiPlus 2 2x120. Now the reason is because your entire shore power or generator connection is gonna come into the AC input and then your AC output is gonna go out to the main panel, backs up your whole RV with one inverter, very simple layout, very effective. If you're not sold that 3000 watts is gonna be enough for you, maybe you wanna power multiple air conditioners, um, then you're gonna be stacking two MultiPlus inverters. And at that point, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference whether you're using the MultiPlus 2x120 or the MultiPlus, because you're only gonna have three wires going into each inverter. 
Now, I, in that scenario, would suggest the MultiPlus every time. Number one, because the screw terminal connections are a little easier to work with. And number two is the cost. This is a slightly cheaper unit than the two by 120. Number three is the size. We find that in most RVs, the depth of the unit just doesn't really matter. You've got a, a very deep compartment to work with. You're really concerned about wall space or floor space, in which case it's the height um, and the width of the unit that are really making the difference as to how much space you've got. So if you're going with multiple inverters, we're gonna be recommending the MultiPlus every time. And if you're going with a single inverter on a 50 amp RV, we're gonna be recommending the 2x120 every time. Now there's one more layout we didn't discuss yet. And this is where um, you're gonna be using your inverter to power only a small portion of the loads within the RV. Like you have a sub panel backing up two or three circuits, or maybe just one circuit. In that case, uh, the MultiPlus would be fine because if you're only backing up a couple of circuits, you can do that all on a 120 volt connection. We get a lot of questions about mounting the inverters. Now they're each going to come with a back plate. That's the inverter is going to hang on the back plate and then have two screws near the bottom that also get secured. It's the same with the MultiPlus 2 and the MultiPlus 2 by 120. They're hanging on a back plate and then there's some screws near the bottom that secure the inverter. You can mount them in any orientation, and if you're not mounting them straight up and down, we do recommend having external fans to cool the unit. If you're not leaving a lot of space between the in inverter and the cabinet or other electrical components, then we do recommend installing fans to cool the units. But if you're leaving them straight up and down with plenty of space, you probably don't need any fans to cool them. We've got all the MultiPlus models for sale on our website. And in this video, we used a MultiPlus that a customer left behind used as they upgraded and a MultiPlus that was damaged during shipping. So if you're looking to get one of these at a discount, give us a call and we'll see if we have a slightly cosmetically damaged unit in stock that we can sell to you. If you're still not sure which inverter is right for your camper, give us a call so we can help you make the right choice.